Hello everyone. Hey beauty connoisseurs. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If you are just stopping in for the first time, would you go ahead and please hit the red subscription button down below. Also click on the notification bell right here so that you will always know when I upload a new video. And thank you to those who are already supporting this channel. If you're interested in this unit that I'm wearing, it is a Bobby Boss unit. Her name is Shakia, and I will leave the information for that review right here. So today I have another unit by Bobby Boss. And for some reason, I've been wanting this unit for quite some time. And her name is Fago, F-A-G-O. That's what she looks like on the stock card. And I have her in the color number two. Now, I think that I can make it look better than what it looks on the stock card. I only saw one picture of it on the reviews of the website that I got it from, and the way she had it, it didn't look nothing like this stock card. So, this is how it looks out of the package, and it's just a nice everyday length with um, a bang, and that's how it looks at the top. You do kind of get a little parting space. And uh, this is the underside at the front. There's no combs, which I don't think you really need them for uh, this uh, full cap wig and there's no comb in the back. But I always wear a wig grip. And like I always say, if you just have to have combs, you can buy combs from the beauty supply. Or I'm pretty sure you can order them from uh, whatever your favorite uh, online uh, wig website is or Amazon and just sew them in yourself. Now I got this from ebonyline.com and it was $23.90 and I'm very surprised that they gave me a packing slip with all the information on it because these companies nowadays they don't do that anymore. I guess they're trying to save the trees. So let me cut the tag off and pop this on real quick. Now this is Fago right out of the package. I just plopped her on my head. And she does kind of look grandma-ish, but I think if I brush her around a little bit and kind of do something with her, I can get it to look decent. And, um, oh, what I wanted to say too is I always try to get these units on within three minutes of the video starting because I'm I know, you know, people's attention span and have things to do. So I really appreciate you all who stick, uh, stick it out and watch the video to see how the wig turns out because, you know, you could be doing something else. So let me brush it. Just doing that kind of helps. I don't know if I should put that behind my ear or not either, but what I really think is making this wig um, look grandmaish is that it's it's bumped under too much, and I think I need to take my curling uh, flat iron and kind of straighten it out a little bit. But let me let you see how it looks before I do that. So this is this side. Here it is on this side and the back. Now I hope y'all can tell what's going on in the back because I can't ever tell what's going on in the back. Let's see real quick. So let me um, flat iron this a little bit and I'll be right back. Back and I made a huge boo boo y'all. I put heat on this unit and not all units are created equal some hair just cannot take heat at first i had it on 400 and i kind of singed the hair so i lowered it to like 370 and it still is like straw 
I don't know if y'all can see that. And so I ruined it before I even got a chance to take pictures. But Bobby Boss, they rarely say that their wigs are heat safe. They never really put it on there. And this is an older unit as well. And so, you know, it doesn't say that you can't use heat. And they usually don't say that you can, but you usually can put a little heat on it. So I'm just gonna have to wear it like this. And I'm not gonna be able to sell it or anything. I'm just stuck with this, but thankfully I only paid $23 for it. And um, so yeah, um, let me put some powder in the part just to kind of do it some kind of justice. So I just wanted you all to see this and let you know that, you know, just because we're here on YouTube doesn't mean we don't mess up or make mistakes. And, you know, sometimes we mess up, make mistakes, we're not perfect. And these are the things that can happen. So just be uh, mindful of that. And when you do, you know, want to put some heat, start underneath and maybe take a strand from the back just to kind of see. That way, if it doesn't, you know, you can, it can be camouflaged and you can just kind of cut the little piece out. So, let's put on some happy sunnies. Try to cheer ourselves up from our mess up. And, as always... Thank you all for watching. Please leave your comments below and let me know what kind of mistakes you all have made. And, uh, you know, let's share the information and not always try to make everything look like we get it right all the time. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.